guys welcome back so today we are going to be talking about making ready to ship sets how do i size them how do i make multiple in one sitting this is my size guide that i go off of you can definitely feel free to go back and screenshot that and then make your own size kit i made mine through canva all of the standard sizing is universal so you can definitely use my sizes um because I mean, that's how I made mine. When I first started my business, I just went to Pinterest and I looked up sizing guides for press on nails and pretty much all of the size guides were the same. So yeah, they're universal. Um, you can definitely go off of mine. I would highly recommend adding your brand colors, your logo, all of that. So that way your company or your brand um, is on your size guide. But yeah, so basically my goal this year is to create content. I really, really, I love creating content and I love to teach you guys like how I create it, especially because a lot of people are doing press-ons now and they don't know how to achieve a certain look. Um, I've noticed that with doing press-ons for so long now, I mean, I think I'm going on three years now, I am always asked to recreate acrylic sets. And yes, that can be hard, but this is why I, I wanna teach you guys how I do it, using only gel. So I create, you know, all of my sets are 100% gel. I do not use acrylic. I tried it in the past and it just, I don't like having to switch sizes if somebody like got a, um, if somebody got a size kit and sends me their sizes, those are the sizes I use. I don't like to switch the sizes up. I don't like to guess um, because acrylic just changes the whole nail, <laughs> basically. So I want to teach you guys how to do gel nails, basically, and how to do like all the different types of acrylic nails, but in gel ombres uh glitter nails glitter ombres frenches like all of that stuff just using gel so yeah so basically i am creating content this year lots and lots of content so i wanted to make a video for you guys with this one and show you guys how to make multiple ready to ship sets in one day and these are pretty much focused on valentine's day but i mean who doesn't love valentine's sets anyways they're pink they're hearts they're glitter like that's an everyday type of thing so i wanted to show you guys like how i make them the colors that i use how i kind of go from each set and yeah so right now i am working on the first set and what i like to do is go in with a base coat on all of them just because i know that i'm not going to be doing like six plus uh coats actually that's the second set okay so i'm on the second set but anyways i went in with a base coat first and then i am doing the first and second set they're gonna have the same base color and then the third and fourth set are gonna have the same base color and you can have all of them can be completely different if you wanted to i just wasn't sure what i was gonna do for these nails just yet but i had these new colors come in and i really wanted to try them and i've been seeing a lot of like french sets with like a dark pink base so i wanted to try it out i wanted to do some raw glitter and just kind of play with it and then i just thought like it would be a great opportunity to show you guys in depth how to make ready to ship sets so all of these sets, because I'm only using two, um, two stands, they're all mediums. Normally, if I use three stands, I'll make a small medium set, but because I'm making four sets and medium is my most uh, purchased size, I'm just making all mediums. And so mediums are size, or are numbers one, five, four, six, and eight. So they're exactly the same. I did two um, medium square and two medium coffin because I did a poll last week and I just was like, what, you know, what sizes, what shapes, what lengths, like what does everybody like? And medium coffin and medium square were number one. And then I did get quite a few for almond as well. 
So I'm going to be making an almond set really soon and I'm definitely going to make sure that I record the almond set as well. And then I also have another XXL coffin set in the making. I am definitely going to be doing airbrush so be ready for that. I've had a lot of people since the beginning of my channel that found me through my airbrush videos and I've been asked a ton like when I'm going to bring back the airbrush videos and trust me I have been working on it. I just have so much to do right now but I have like new airbrush gels. I have um, a new airbrush um, like what is it called? I can't even think of what it's called. Um, my nozzle, like I got new airbrush needles. I have so much stuff to show you guys. It's just recording and you know, getting everything out and making sure that I'm prepared for that. Cause it's literally, it's an all day thing. Like these nails right here, I did four sets and it took me from, I believe I started at 9 AM and I wasn't done till I want to say three or four and I usually get my kids from school at three so I had to come back and finish and then record again and then now I'm editing and doing the voiceover and all of that good stuff so it takes time but I do promise I have airbrush videos coming because I miss my airbrush <laughs> I miss doing ombres I had a poll going the other day as well for uh, whether you guys want to see an airbrush tutorial I mean an ombre tutorial or an aura, I think that's how you say it, aura, aura <laughs> nails tutorial. And it was literally like neck and neck the whole time, like one vote away each time when I checked it. So I'm going to make two videos and bring back the airbrush ombre and then the ombre um, or the airbrush aura nails as well and just kind of do a really, really cute valentine's day design and show you guys so i definitely have those coming i also have two more videos that are already lined up and they are valentine's day sets they are short sets uh, just to show you guys how they were created so stay tuned i have two videos coming per week right now and i do have a baby coming any day now <laughs> i'm 37 weeks pregnant this is the longest i've ever been pregnant like my babies always come early so it's super weird to me that i'm still pregnant but i'm okay with that because i'm creating content i'm having so much fun with the videos so yeah so once i'm done doing all three layers on these nails i'm gonna go back and i'm going to top coat them because I'm adding raw glitter and when I add raw glitter I like to add the top coat first and then I'll go back in with whichever design I'm making because then we're going to cure the glitter on top and then that's it we're not going to add another top coat to the glitter nothing like that so I'm going to show you guys that I'm going to show you guys how I apply the bling and then yeah basically just go from there and I just wanted this to be like super in depth for you guys um, because of all the questions I've been getting about right to ship sets and then I will just continue to talk and tell you guys like what I'm thinking or what I feel that you know needs to be said throughout this video but yeah for now I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys watch until I get to the top coat and the Frenches and all of that good stuff Okay, so now that they all have three coats, I'm going to be using dark glitter, light glitter, and then same with like the Frenchies, I'm going to be doing a dark color and a light color. And I'm just going to top coat them really quick with the Beatles top coat. This is my favorite top coat right now. I just love it. It's like not too thick, but it's thick and it just makes the nails look so glossy and so nice. But yeah, so I'm just top coating them really quick so that way I can go back in with the French and add the glitter without the glitter sticking to like the nail that I don't, the part that I don't want it to stick to. Um, but yes.
okay so i moved all the other sets out of the way so that i can focus on one set at a time now and then i love to put the like printer paper underneath when i'm doing glitter so that way i can save the glitter when i'm done with it because you lose a lot of glitter when you're just like pouring it on the nail so i'm gonna go in with the darker color for the french and the darker glitter and i i believe on all of them except for the last two yeah so two of them i believe i did v-tip and then the other two i did classic french so i'm just going to show you guys how i do that i'm just cleaning my brush here with alcohol to soften it up and then going and um you know getting the the polish all over the brush so that way it makes it easier to move and then i'm just going in with the v-tip really quick and without curing i'm gonna add the glitter and then cure and then continue my designs Also, really quick if you have made it 12 minutes in <laughs> um, thank you so much if you have learned anything so far within my channel this video um, definitely consider subscribing I have a ton of more in in-depth videos that are coming your way um, but I did want to ask did you guys like this um, like this view or would it would you guys rather it be like more zoomed in or what like is this okay just let me know down below um i definitely want you guys to see like exactly what i'm doing i feel like this is a pretty good view but some people do like to be like super zoomed in so they can see everything but yeah just let me know down below definitely consider subscribing um and hitting that notification bell so that you know when i do upload I am trying my best to upload two times a week right now before my baby girl comes into this world. I'm actually hoping to have multiple just ready and lined up for you guys. I have been working like crazy on content. Um, and then if you guys wanted to follow me on Instagram so that you guys can get in on like the polls and stuff and just kind of know what I'm doing there and seeing like the ready to ship sets and all of that. Um, all of my links are down below. I am just at the gems co and yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'll let you guys get back to watching. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly dust these off now that they are all cured. And as you can see, that ring finger did not wanna stay on and then it did not wanna go back on. But I have reused that blue sticky for so many sets so i'm just waiting to get the white um the new white gorilla it's not new but the white gorilla sticky i have heard such great things about that but i was just trying to get you know all my use out of the blue tabs so yeah i finally got it back on but this is what they are looking like so far
also I did want to say that I did get these glitters from Walmart just in like the craft section I just made sure to get the ultra fine glitters because in my opinion when you're doing raw glitter the ultra fine just looks better when it comes to nails I do love chunky glitters too but I like to encapsulate them so I'm gonna like try to find these maybe they're on Amazon and link them down below but if not definitely the glitters are from Walmart and then I will link everything else too, like the colors and all that because I did speed up quite a bit just because I didn't think you guys wanted to spend the whole entire day with me making these nails um, so yeah I put a whole day into 44 or 41 minutes and um, just like sped through but at least it's it's not too fast I left it to the point where you can still see what's going on um, this right here was my favorite favorite set out of all of them and I decided to do the dark and the light and I love this base so I'll definitely link that base down below I like the other ones as well it just depends on if you like like a deeper darker base or whatever like the dark pink base I think it looks super cute and it's just super fun for Valentine's Day but yeah so this set though right here was my absolute favorite let me know what you guys think down below <laughs> Right here I was loving that color combo and then I was just debating on if I want to keep them all the dark pink or add some light which I ended up adding the light pink as well and I just think it looks so cute and then for these um, the coffin ones I decided to do all light just because I did like a lot of the dark pink I feel like in the other sets so yeah these ones too I just I love them. I love a classic French. I love glitter, pink, everything. Like, I, pink's not my favorite color, but I do love the pink for the Valentine's Day. Like, I just thought these were so cute. Okay, so I did another poll on my Instagram and I took little like boomerangs of each one and then I just asked like should I add bling to these or no these ones got the least like just leave them alone they are cute as is don't add no bling so those ones I already packed away and then I'm just gonna go in and add a little bit of bling to each of the other ones I don't want to add too much just because I know that with sometimes like when you do extra sets it's just 
I don't know, it's hard for people to like function with them. And I really just wanted these shorter sets to just be Valentine's Day sets, be super cute. And then I had a, like some different bling that I have not used yet. So I wanted to incorporate those. And then yeah, they were pink, they were cute. They went with the whole Valentine's Day vibe. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add bling and let you guys watch that.
Okay, so now that we have finished them all, I did also add a, um, a little bit more top coat to the ones that I put bling on. Uh, I just didn't film it, I guess. <laughs> I missed that part. But yeah, so I did add top coat to those and then I am just taking them all off the stands and then I'm going to finish file and buff them. I usually do file them on the stands, but I was waiting on my other files to come in and I didn't have those. So I had to use like the big file that I still, that I always use. Um, so I didn't want to like mess up the sides of any other ones while I'm doing the stand. So I'm just going to go in individually and buff or file each one down. And then I do take a buffer and I get like whatever is on like the inside of the nail. Uh, I'll show you guys right here, but I'm just going at a downward motion. So I go down and then like I lift off the nail and go down. It looks really fast, but it's not that fast because I did, <laughs> I did speed it up. But yeah, I just go at a downward motion. I don't go up and then I'll like get that little piece right there that comes from filing um, just because I don't know it bugs me, but I take that and then I'll go ahead and buff that off so that way it's the nail is super clean and I have a nice crisp shape and that is it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that with all of those and then I'm gonna go into packaging them and show you guys how I pack each nail. I did use like my bigger boxes so you guys are probably gonna think it's a waste of a box which I do too but I'm out of my little boxes and then my tiny boxes I just didn't feel like using those I feel like I get better videos with the boxes I'm using right now and <clears throat> because I am creating content and I am you know putting these sets out there to be sold I really want like the best video um, as possible that I can get with these nails. So I'm using like my favorite boxes. So yeah, you guys will see. Okay, so this is the size box that I'm using. I believe they are like five by three um i'll have them linked down below but these are my favorite like smaller boxes and they can hold up to a good two to three sets if they're really short sets i believe i can fit four sets in there so yeah only putting one set is definitely like a waste of a box but i will say they look super pretty in these boxes <laughs> so that is why i am using these um, but I will link the other sides or sizes that I use as well and then that tape as well I love this tape. I know a lot of people use like a smaller um, Like a skinnier tape, but I like this one. I just know my nails are not going anywhere in transition So yeah, that's basically all I'm gonna do. It's like see they just look so pretty in these boxes <clears throat> but yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put those ones in and then I will show you at the end what they look like And then if you wanted to see like how I post them on Instagram and stuff definitely go ahead and go check out my Instagram and Check out like the videos that I post and stuff like that. And if you have any questions at all um, Feel free to DM me feel free to leave the leave a comment down below I get back to everybody I can sometimes it takes a little bit but I definitely am trying to get back to everybody as best as possible, answer questions, make videos, help everybody out because it's not easy. It's really not. This is one of the hardest things I've ever done, but it's the most satisfying and it's the best thing. Like I get to be home with my babies. I get to make content. I absolutely love nails. Nails are my passion. I am a cosmetologist and I just went for nails instead of doing everything else. And now I just love to make videos. I love to record content, create sets. Um, yeah, it's just so fun for me. So if you guys have any questions, any um, upcoming videos you guys want me to do, I'm here to help. Um, just let me know.
Okay, so this is what the sets look like. This was a full day's work. So yeah, it was it was a long day, but very, very successful. I'm very happy with these sets. I am definitely going to make some more um, multiple ridership videos again. I just, I had so much fun creating these. So yeah, I hope you guys like them. If you want to see like the videos and stuff that I post on Instagram, definitely go ahead and check those out. And yeah, if you learned anything, if I helped you, if you like the vibe, anything like that, definitely consider subscribing, become a member of this family. And again, thank you guys so much. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye.